tailoring your resume for your audience. You've formatted your resume, created strong content, and feel ready to submit. You need to complete one last step. If you want to stand out as an applicant, you will need to tailor your resume to the audience and position description. Why is your audience important? Above all else, you want to demonstrate that you understand their industry and work culture. The resume is your chance to show that you can support their needs. Think about how you fit with the position and what unique contributions you can offer. Then think about what else they should know about you regarding skills or experience. Remember that your application documents are persuasive in nature. Thinking through these components will help you consider how you'll provide relevant examples to support that you are a strong candidate and should receive an interview. To be a competitive candidate, the organization needs to see how your strengths, skills, and experience align with their position, organization, program, and or industry. Your education is a great asset and specific academic knowledge may align well with the organization's needs. You may have additional applicable experiences that you can draw upon to demonstrate the alignment. While having the same skill mentioned throughout your resume will show greater expertise, be sure to highlight skills related to the position or industry. If you haven't had experience in the industry or in a similar position before, that's okay. Instead, you'll focus your resume on emphasizing your transferable skills. You'll first want to do your research of skills that are typically required in the position and industry. The job description will provide a lot of this information. Consider reading LinkedIn profiles of professionals who work in similar roles to make note of skills they mention and language they use that may be specific to the industry. Take a look at the transferable skills handout in the notes. To make your transferable skills stand out through strong content development, watch the Developing Resume Content video. Let's take a look at how to put all of these components together and tailor content to a specific position. Here's our sample job description. Don't worry if this position isn't in your industry area. We're not focusing on the actual work, but instead how to read a job description and adapt your resume based on the information provided and the research you've done on the employer and industry. If you have a position you want to apply for, get it out. If not, Download the position description in the notes and we will use that for this example. Once you've read through the full description, go back to the beginning and make a list of the important words and phrases that you find. Be thorough in this first step. Here are some examples. Project management, presentation skills, and research. Do you see more? Write them down. You can see that this employer is also looking for someone who has branding experience and critical thinking skills, among others. Now that you have your list of keywords and have taken note of important phrases, do you see any themes? The example posting can be organized into themes of communication and leadership. Do either of these themes seem to be emphasized more than the others? Communication skills are mentioned more times, indicating that they are most important to this position. Now that you have an idea of the themes and which skills are important, let's make a chart. On the left, list the skills the employer is seeking. On the right, list how you've used these skills. Now make sure you're representing these on your resume. Focusing on the communication theme, you can put information about papers you've written, professional presentations you have given, how you've contributed to a group, or a teaching experience. You may need to reorder bullet points, reorganize sentences, or even add in bullet points that you've previously thought weren't important to include. Need help turning your skills chart into content? Check out the Developing Resume Content video. Tailoring your resume takes time, but it makes a huge impact. The more specific your resume is to the industry and company, the more notice it will get. 
Many organizations use an applicant tracking system or ATS to filter out resumes that don't contain keywords most often taken from the job posting. Tailoring your resume increases the chance of making it through this initial screening to be seen by the hiring manager. Take some time to tailor your resume, then bring it to drop-in career advising along with the job description. We are happy to assist and answer questions you have along the way.